Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have square root of 2 square root of x equal to square root of x square root of 2. This is very simple. But then know that um, we can just remove the square root from here by squaring it. And what you do on one side, you must do on the other side. So that this and this will go, and this and this will go. Now we have 2 root x to be equal to x root 2. Okay, now let's continue from here. The next thing we're going to do is removing this square from here, this square root from here. So we're going to square this as well. And then the whole of this would also be squared. From here, 2 squared there will give us 4. Okay, then square root and this square will finally cancel. So we have x over there. This is equal to, here we have x squared. Then multiply by this, can now cancel this, so we have 2. And this means that 4x is equal to... 2x squared if I multiply then if I write this in the other way around it means that 2x squared is equal to 4x right bring everything to the left 2x squared minus 4x is equal to 0 now we have a quadratic equation that we can solve by factorization 2 is here, it can be found over there, so bring out your 2, x is here and it's there, bring it out. Here we have 1x minus 2 into 4 is 2, then x will cancel itself from there now, so the whole of this will be equal to 0. Applying 0 product rule, 2x is either equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so from here, x is equal to 0 over 2, or x is equal to 0 plus 2. Then x is equal to 0, because 0 divided by 2 is possible, and it gives 0. Or on this side, x is equal to 2. So that if we bring the two solutions together, x will be equal to 0 or plus 2. Now, remember the original equation where we got um, square root of um, 2 square root of x, okay, equal to square root of x square root of 2. And we are looking for the value of um, x. If we put 0 here, it means that 2 times 0 will still give us 0. So we have square root of 0 on the, on the left. 0 times root 2 will still give us root 0. Okay, so this means that our x to be equal to 0 satisfies the equation. And then, let's try the other solution, which is x equal to 2. That means we have 2, okay, square root of 2, square root of 2. And then, on the other side, we're going to have square root of, in here, we have x, which is 2 now, then square root of 2. Okay, so, by looking at this now, you can see that we have the same thing, right? We are having the same thing, so our x to be equal to 2 still satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching. God bless.